So one thing that can be super helpful before we start actually manipulating this box is actually being able to manipulate the viewports that we're actually working in. Think of it as like your workspace. So I prefer a workspace that's larger. I want to see more when I'm working on it. I want it to kind of be focused on it. I don't need to see all four of these views at once. So one of the fastest ways I can take care of that is actually by maximizing just my perspective viewport, which is the one I work in the most. So as long as we have it selected by just clicking in it, I can hit Alt W and it'll actually maximize my viewport. So now when I'm working, I'm only in this view, I can kind of see what's going on. <clears throat> I'm not getting like tied up with all the other windows getting in the way and really just wasting space. What I can do at any time to get back to my four windows though is hit Alt W again. So it's, it's just a toggle. Now, once I have a window maximized like the perspective viewport, I can actually toggle between different ones in this maximized state. I don't have to hit Alt W, go back, click on the front, then hit Alt W to maximize, Alt, to, Alt W to come back. I can actually just stay in this window and there's keyboard shortcuts that have been set up already, default to max, that let me switch around quickly. So if I were just to hit F by itself on the keyboard, it'll actually take me to the front perspective. So I can actually just see. I can hit T to take me to the top, B to take me to the bottom, and I can hit V on the keyboard if I want to select any of the ones that aren't options through just shortcuts. Let's say I wanted to say the back view, or I wanted to see the left. But in any of those cases, once I want to get back to perspective, I can just hit the P key on the keyboard to take me back to perspective view. Now, a word of advice, if you're in top view and you accidentally arc view the camera, you rotate, you're in a special mode called orthographic. Don't worry, this mode just basically takes away perspective. It can be useful for modeling certain objects in certain times. I don't use it very often. But anytime you get into this view, you're not really in a true perspective view, you're in orthographic. So just hit P on the keyboard to take you back to perspective mode and you'll be back where you remember. And that should be all you need to know about changing your viewports and navigating between the different settings.